us, please. Hello, ich bin Thelma Kaiser Kronit and ich bin eine Studentin für Deutsch in Lay Tutor Schule für Sprache. I am Thelma Kaiser Kronit and I am a student in German at the Lay Tutor School for Language. My husband is German. Um, he came directly from Germany when I met him and I watched him try to learn English um, better. They do take English over in Germany quite a bit, but um, he was improving. And he told me that, don't worry, you don't need to learn German because everyone in Germany knows English. And our first trip there, I found that not everyone feels comfortable speaking in English, and there's varying levels of um, learning and understanding of English over there. So I knew I had to learn more German in order to feel comfortable visiting and interacting with his family. Actually, um, we just got back actually about three weeks ago from our second trip since oh, okay. I've been taking lessons. And it was very interesting to see the reaction. Um, everybody had noticed that my German was much better. I always have more to learn, and there's always more to learn. <laughs> it was a significant improvement, and I could communicate better, and I could understand a lot more what individuals were, were saying, especially as they spoke more rapidly. I think that overall everyone there is shocked that I can speak at the level of German that I can, which by, by no means is, is perfect. But um, they're very glad that I've chosen to take the, the effort to learn German. The first time I think they were very surprised that I could interact as much as I did in conversations. And I think on this trip they were surprised that my German had become much more correct. They always give me a leeway when my German is not exactly perfect. And I think they're finding they have to do that less and less, and we're quite surprised at the improvement. The reason it's tough is there's so many different aspects. There's grammar, there's yeah. vocabulary expansion, there's um, speaking, there's reading, there's writing, there's so many aspects to the language, and there's been improvements in all of them, hands down, but I wouldn't say that the improvements are maybe all the same. Our main focus is speaking, because that's how I mostly interact with my, uh, my in-law family and friends over in Germany, but um, certainly in the speaking aspects, I'd say it's at least more than double well, that's, when we started. That's but, great. Yeah, I think one of the, the more surprising things was um, the level of understanding that I, I hadn't really realized. Um, generally, in the last, just, you know, I'd say last year when we went, I could follow a conversation, but as soon as they started speaking rapidly or getting very intricate in their conversation, I would, have to tune out because eventually you just get overwhelmed. This time there were very few conversations where I could not completely follow the, the stream of the conversation, not every word, but the meaning of the conversation throughout the entire time. And that was pretty surprising to me. I didn't realize that the comprehension side had gotten that much better. Uta has been fantastic. She is, um, of course, a native speaker and she translates not only the language, but the culture. Every week we talk about aspects of the culture. If it's around Christmas, she'll introduce not only words that are important and phrases and, and ideas, but also she'll bring in examples of what they do around Christmas time, what sorts of uh, religious and non-religious holiday celebrations they have, so that when I go to Germany, I'm interacting not only on a language viewpoint, but also on a cultural viewpoint, so that if they start talking about a holiday or a tradition, I'm not totally at a loss of what they're speaking about. Always focused on moving forward and expanding my knowledge of Germany as a whole geography as well. We've looked yeah. at the geography of Germany and the differences in North and South, East and West, all the different nuances of Germany because we, we interact with people from origins all over Germany yeah. so that we don't consider Germany as one place with one type of person. Yeah. We focus on the dialects and the differences in traditions. Um, the one thing I have to say about Uta as well is she is extremely patient because I, I'm a working mom, very busy, and um, I never can do everything I should do during the week to continue the studies. I, I always try very hard. Um, so she's incredibly patient with me, but as best as any student can do is to take that, the studies, and continue to, to look at it every day, every week, um, so that when you come back, you're, you're you know, able to take that steps further would be uh, obviously the best case. All of us are busy today, so I just 
you know, I think the, for the purposes, sometimes I am I'm frustrated with myself that I can't use enough of my time to further the studies. But Uta always finds a way to, to bring me forward. So uh, for those busy people that are thinking a language is um, too much to take on, you can really still make great progress, even if you have a little bit of time. Even if you don't understand what they're saying, you listen to the, the sounds, and you'll catch words here and there, and just sort of the feeling of how the sentences are said. Um, Uta you know, it's, it calls it like a mind memory. Just to hear it over and over, you get an idea of the formation of the sentences, and the word order, and the structure, and the accents. And so I would, I would strongly suggest that. I um, I only have amazingly good things to say about Uta. I think she's been uh, tremendous in my in my learning. I wasn't, as I said, I wasn't really clear how far until this last trip to Germany. And every time I think, okay, I think I've gone, you know, far enough. You've hit a wall. It's fine that I want to go further uh, because of the progress I'm making. And I think again, it's that combination of keeping it fresh, always giving me challenges. That's the other thing. It's never been boring. It's always the next challenge. Um, every week there seems to be another topic that we've covered that I've never, you know, heard about, or or a new tradition in Germany, or always fresh new stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the structure at Le Tutor has been really important for me. It's very accessible. It's very flexible for my hours. It allows me, if I have a crisis, to to always be um, able to move my hours. You know, given given warning. And that's been really important because, as I said, as a working mom, it's tough to find the time. And it's really important that I can have a little bit of that uh, flexibility and um, ease of hours and you know, an accessible place to actually study the German. I just, uh, I'm glad I found my tutor and I'm, I'm really excited that I'm going to be able to continue to uh, improve and be able to communicate and hopefully eventually be what I call fluent. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll find something else that you, want. Something <laughs> that you need to work on. <laughs> all right, well, Danke. Yeah. Did I say that right? Bitte, yes. Danke. <laughs> That's all the German I know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.